everyone welcome to my youtube channel study with somya make sure to subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed it now this channel is definitely going to be very helpful for you so make sure to subscribe also when subscribing turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any opportunity or update from the channel itself also do join us at our telegram channel the link for the telegram channel is provided in the description itself so make sure to join well as if capgemini has started recruiting for 2021 batch and this is a good news for all the engineering and mca freshers right so in this video i will discuss the written experience of a selected student right so we will discuss about all the rounds and how to prepare for those rounds what is going to be the difficulty level and all these things and for sure this video is going to be very really helpful for you and if you have to give the capgemini exam right so make sure to watch the complete video and i'm sure that this video is going to be very helpful for all the students of 2021 batch as if it covered all the important points that you have to keep in your mind and what are the sections do we have how to prepare and all sort of things well one thing is there that those who have done with the registration right so those students who are done with the registration don't think that all the students who are registering going to be selected well this is not the case it is clearly mentioned it is clearly mentioned that they will shortlist the students on the basis of their resume so first you will be shortlisted and only the shortlisted students are going to receive the links for the further test and all okay so all the students who are registering are definitely not going to be selected there is a shortlist process that capgemini has included also 60% marks criteria is there remember 60% marks criteria is there so you have to take care of that as well so on these sort of criteria they will filter the students i guess that is marks criteria or so well in this video i will cover the sections the written round section that we do have well the first three section okay they are elimination round and the last one that is behavioral section that is not an elimination round that is just to understand the thinking process of a particular person well one by one we will cover all the sections so make sure to watch the complete video and do share this video with your friends as well so that even they can know about the complete process and once this written test is done we will definitely make a video regarding interview as well so without wasting any time let's get started don't forget to subscribe the channel and do join us at our telegram channel let's start uh so okay so let's understand all the sections that we do have in the written test right so the basically the written test is going to be on the superset platform that is the same platform where you have created your superset profile and after creating the superset profile you can apply on the drive so first you have to make your superset profile and then only you can apply for the drive that has come for the 2021 batch also make sure to do the registration before 14th of april if you haven't done till now uh yes i came to know that there are certain problems that is from capgemini side if students are facing problems regarding otp and so well we can't do anything about this uh, i i'm sure that capgemini will definitely do something regarding this issue because this issue is from their side only right so just keep on trying if this problem has been resolved so let other students also know so that they can start the registration because according to them last date is 14th of april well let us understand first the pseudo code section the pseudo code section is going to have 25 mcqs and these mcqs are going to be basic level only that is intermediate level only they are not going to be very tough even you can analyze the same understanding the recently capgemini is ir 2020 batch right so you can just refer to those questions refer to those questions so that easily you can understand that what sort of questions are expected and can be asked to you as well because uh, capgemini is following the same pattern for 2021 as well right so just refer to those questions to understand the level of difficulty always when starting the preparation of any exam first understand it what is the difficulty level if you are preparing for any company so for sure you are not going to prepare cat level uh, cat level syllabus or cat level questions right because that's not going to work in cat they do ask difficult questions but here the the question the level of question is not going to be that difficult so first from the previous year questions are the and the paper that is recently became uh just have a look on those questions and try to understand that what is going to be the level of difficulty right and uh, the time allocated for this particular section is 25 minutes also as if this is a elimination round so there is a sectional cut off okay so there is a sectional cut off you have to clear that cut off only then 
you can attempt the verbal ability section and if you are not able to clear so sorry you will not be able to attempt the verbal ability section i already told you that first three section that is pseudo court verbal ability section and gaming section so all these three sections are elimination round okay so for pseudo court how to practice what to practice what to do so pseudo code is basically kind of output based question so if you are not finding too much pseudo based uh, pseudo code based questions on the google what you can do try solving output based question because they are also similar to that of output based question just written in as of an english line um english syntax or so okay so that is the same the same thing is happening so just solve uh, output based question try to understand the concept and so practice the question see uh, you cannot achieve anything till the time you are not practicing whether it's about speaking in english whether it's about doing the coding whether it's about getting um, the command on the aptitude for everything you have to do the practice anything it is for even singing dancing or any sort of activity that you want to do you want to master you have to do the practice for it so same apply here as well so just do the practice try to solve the questions if you are stuck in it somewhere so then you can join us at our telegram channel there we have lots of students discussing with each other even sometimes we also try to reply to the students in case of any doubt so make sure to join us at our telegram channel the link is given in the description itself so just discuss with each other and try to solve the question try to get a command now talking about the data structure based questions that you can expect is from the topic tree stack linked list queue right so these are the important topics just to go through them for example from stack you can suppose uh, you can consider any sort of question that is from push pop function of the stack or any such kind of question that you can get or any reverse notation they can ask you that is post fix expression prefix expression that is what you can expect from the array you can expect the questions array you can expect the questions right and that is how it is going to be from tree also you can expect the question maybe on traversal or so or any such formula that is whether this particular tree is a complete binary tree or not or full binary tree or not these sort of basic questions or basic knowledge required well there are certain uh, websites that you can found to practice the questions based on data structure like is sen foundry we do have and many other like is geeks for geeks or so so just start practicing questions on them so that you can get a proper command on the data structure concept and for um, pseudo code i already told you that to start solving the question start understanding the level of difficulty well generally we do ask questions based on bitwise operations okay bitwise operations they do ask on the basis of logical operations on the basis of operations like is or nor and so generally the questions will be based on these only and on sort of any kind of if condition on the basis of loops so pseudo codes are going to range from these topics only so no need to worry about these are just basic topics once the thing is needed that you should be clear about them if there is any sort of confusion then that is going to be harmful for you so it still is a, it still there's a lots of time so start preparing from as of now don't waste your time and prepare as much as you can so next one is verbal ability section so if you clear the sectional cut off for pseudo code section then you will be promoted to verbal ability section now what do we have in verbal ability section so here you will be getting 30 mcqs having comprehension clauses and generally they are related to the basic grammar only they are related to the basic speech kind of thing only okay so for sure verbal is going to going to be that tough but for sure never underestimate any section because this section can put you down even and especially this is an elimination round in cap gemini so practice for each and every section uh, that is whether it is pseudo code section or verbal ability section what students do they generally give less importance to the verbal ability part but this is not the case every part matters give equal importance to every section so just practice some basic questions and comprehension based question start practicing from as of now so that you are not wasting your time at the time of written test right so you will get lots of lots of questions on the google itself based on comprehension based on closets and start solving those questions okay so that is the thing you can do see practice is the only thing that you can follow and there is no other shortcut that you can follow for sure and so the time allocated i already told you it is going to be 30 minute only and after clearing this cut off of uh, after clearing the cut off that is allocated to this particular section uh, you will be able to attempt the gaming section okay i already told that the starting three are the elimination now so now let's discuss about the gaming section 
so for the gaming section they have decided some sort of 24 games now why they kept this particular section uh, for sure mainly students most of the students will be eliminated in this sound because uh, there is nothing that you can do for this one there is no such questions that you can prepare because these sort of games and all these uh, totally based on your analytical and problem solving skills so some sort of gaming puzzle will be there that you have to sort out and there is no such practice that you can follow so it's all depending on your analytical ability so that is what they want to check that how good you are at problem solving how uh, good you are having the this analytical skills and so so that is why most of the students get eliminated in this particular section and so here uh, randomly any sort of uh, challenges or any sort of games can be allocated to you for example like is digit challenge motion challenge bridge challenge switch challenge many such challenges are there and randomly any such challenge can be uh, given to you like four to five challenges can be given to you okay next round that we have is behavioral section okay so the next section that we do have is behavioral section so there are going to be around 100 mcqs and this is not an elimination round this is just to understand your way of thinking and your behavior okay uh, because this is not an elimination round because every person's way of thinking and their personality is different so just understand just having a proper understanding of your personality they have kept this section but it is not an elimination round but there is one thing that even our uh, 2020 batch students faced that even after completing all the four rounds they didn't receive any link any email regarding the interview now why this is so they have cleared all the they have attempted all the four sections then why because generally it is not the case if you have attempted all the four sections then for sure you are going to for an interview they are going to do all these things on the basis of some merit list also on the basis of your performance at the gaming section that is why i am always saying that gaming section has lead to uh, the elimination of many students okay and for this section for sure there is no such tactics that you can follow or so yes you can uh, see some videos and so that will be there on the youtube itself to understand that what sort of uh, questions they are going to ask in the gaming section but everything depends on your performance at the time of the written okay because uh, randomly uh, from 24 games any 4 to 5 games will be given to you and you have to solve some sort of puzzle at the time okay so the interview mails totally depends on the performance of yours on all the section and especially in case of gaming section if you have done well then definitely you will get interview mail and then for sure you have to complete the interview and all sort of process well regarding interview we will make another video we'll discuss in detail about this but as of now this video we made totally regarding the written process that what sort of sections do you have and what how to attend them and all sort of things okay so this is the case so just don't think first of all just don't think about selection rejection or so and even don't think that what is the maximum marks minimum marks if you have these sort of things in your mind and uh, especially the fear of rejection then then definitely you will be rejected always think positive guys what if not selected like after some time you will get the selection that in a sequence of rejection there will be selection always have positive hope in your mind okay because if you will get demotivated then it can lead to bad result for you okay you have to keep that hope because if you are consistently trying consistently trying that at some point of time you will get the thing that you want okay so just don't get demotivated we always have to face struggles and those who face struggles they really do well in your life uh, in their life so basically you must have seen many leaders and great personalities that we do have so do you think that they achieved all those things easily no they have faced struggles they faced lots of problem in their life and then only they reached to that success to that peak if you want to reach to that peak then you have to face those struggles and if you are not ready then for sure you cannot grow okay and i can understand when we are not selected it feels really bad okay because i have also faced the rejections but we cannot do anything about it okay we have to move forward we have to move on from these direction and we have to prepare us for the further challenges everyone does so and you have to be self motivated no one else is coming there to motivate you you have to self motivate yourself and you have to think that certainly one or another day i'll be selected good things will happen with me and always have one thing in your mind if something is not working according to you then 
can then there is definitely a chance thing something good is waiting for you because not everyone get the thing that they always look for but for sure whatever you will get in your life will be better will be good so always have these kind of thoughts in your life even i do have when something uh, happened wrong with me i always think that maybe this happened with me because of a good cause and generally after some sort of time to some point of time i do realize thank god it happened to me otherwise i was not at that particular instance these things pushed me to bring out a better version of mine okay so if something bad is something rejection things is happening with you then some good thing is waiting for you note it down and one day you will say to me ma'am that you were saying so and see after getting these many rejection i got selected to that good company with a good package okay so just that's the is that life is all about selection rejection struggle problems and so not only about this company specific i am talking about the things there are so many things which which we have to go through in our life so just be strong have the positive thoughts in your mind and for sure you will do great in your life well it became some kind of motivational thing well of course motivation is needed in our life so generally do we do get text from the students uh, they are really depressed that not selecting in any of the company due to any round they are getting eliminated and so so for all of them i have to say one thing that just hope for the positive after a sequence of rejection a selection is waiting for you and just note it down a point just note down my words that if something is not working according to you then this thing will lead to a good cause for sure okay and with that note i will i would like to say bye bye to all of you thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from the channel and do join us at our telegram channel bye bye keep preparing and always be positive bye